Good afternoon, my name is Kevin O'Neill. I'm here with Phil Wise on Wednesday, November 13th. We're taking an oral history of Phil here in his home in Decatur. Phil, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, when you were born and who your parents were? Well, as Kevin mentioned, my name is Phil Wise. I was born eight, uh, August 16th, 1938. My parents, my dad's name was Philip C. Wise. I'm actually Philip C. Wise Jr. And my mother was Lena May Wise, Kersey Wise. And um, I was born in Greenville, Illinois, and I building that still stands down there wasn't a hospital is where my parents lived at the time and so you're born in your in your home my home yeah and and then uh you were you went to high school in that area too yeah i went through grade school and uh, a number of different grade school oh well one grade school in particular and then uh, got into high school and i suppose i had a normal high school history until I met my future wife. What high school is that? Greenville High School right. in Greenville, Illinois. It's renamed now to, I think, a community unit district of some number. <laughs> At that time, it was Greenville High. Now, how old were you when you met your future wife? Oh, I don't know. I probably met her uh, maybe when I was a junior, maybe even before that. I was aware she was around. And, uh, I've told her this. She asked me once why what I saw in her. I don't know why she asked me, but she did. So I said, you know, I don't think your parents really realized what they had. I said, you were really a beautiful young lady. I said, you're still very beautiful. And I think that bought me some points for a while. But yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I for whatever reason, I was really attracted to her almost from the outset. And uh, it's one of those things that became not obsession with me, but one that I really wanted to take to some conclusion. Because she was younger than you? Yeah, she was a couple of years younger, and you know, which probably three or four years might have made a big difference, but two years wasn't that big of a deal. So somehow we made that made that work and made it come together, and then <clears throat> I went ahead and graduated from high school and. Uh, I guess then when our dating started in, in intensity. But that, during this period of time, I had all different kinds of jobs. I mean, back in my day, if you needed spending money, uh, there wasn't such things as allowances or people handing you money. You either made it or you didn't have any spending money. So I always felt the church to have some spending money. So I would do sort of whatever it takes to uh, make that happen. And uh, had quite a litany of different kind of jobs, many of which are gone from the scene nowadays, but they were available, so I took them on. And, Such uh, as being working in a bowling alley? Yeah, that's probably the one I, I spent the most time at, and uh, started out setting pins. Back in my day, you did it by hand, which mm -hmm. was kind of an interesting process. So you were in high school, how old were you, like 15, uh, you 16? 16 to do this. This okay. was some kind. A labor statute but anyway I, I did that for quite a while and then uh, became really an expert in what was going on at the bowling alley and ended up actually managing it uh -huh. at least a major part of the time for the owners he was away and uh, you know I just I would run it for him and, and really knew everything it took to make that happen even refinished pens and refinished the alleys Again, that's kind of a process, but so I learned a lot about that business. But again, that building's long gone, and I don't think there's even a bowling alley in Greenville anymore. So the bloom is off the rose for bowling, and thank goodness I got out just in time. <laughs> but anyway, I, during this process, um, I decided to, to attend college in, in Greenville uh, as I tell it I didn't have enough money to get out of town so I decided to go there but in reality it was a good place good school and and uh, so I enrolled there and continued to work in various occupations and, and uh, the big break I got and I can't remember exactly when I got as far as the job was I 
got a job at Pet Help Company, which was uh, in the can factory. And it was just what the name implies. We made 10 cans, mm. made them by the millions. And um, But it was a job that what many guys relied on to raise their families. So it was, uh, at that time, a, a stand-up job as far as paying and so forth. But I worked nights. Well, you were in college then. Yeah, <clears throat> and I, I, I think I started when I was a freshman. I worked that fall. Then I went back the next spring and worked all summer there and then into the fall you know sort of a seasonal thing spring to fall type deal which worked okay for those of us in school were you the first of your siblings to go to college or no uh yeah yeah i was my my uh next oldest sibling my sister ruth she's three years older than me eventually finished college but she was a lot smarter than i was so she probably could have gone anytime but she did, and finally graduated. And Just real quickly, yeah. say who your uh, siblings are. Uh, oldest to... Uh, oldest. My oldest brother was Dale, and uh, he was about 21 years older than me. Then my second brother was Merlin, and he was maybe 18 years older than me. <clears throat> then my third brother was Cecil, and he was probably 15 years older than me. Then I had an older sister, Joyce who was 13 years older than me. And then my other sister, Ruth, was three years older than me. So my, my sister Ruth and I, there was a large gap between between the two of us and the rest of our siblings, uh, larger in terms of you know, 20 down to maybe 13 years. But no. So it made for kind of a separation of what you knew about these people, but we still ended up knowing them pretty well. And your brother Mervyn, sadly, what happened? Yeah, he was killed in the Second World War in the Battle of Luzon in the Philippines. And uh, mm -hmm. with all that entails. And Ruth is uh, your only surviving, surviving sister. sibling, my sister Ruth.